we will get started with warm up. So you can turn on your music and we're going to go through two rounds of movements here for warm up. The first one we've done before, big X shape with your body. Then you're going to come down, touch opposite hand to foot. So you can start this one now. Make sure to make it kind of like a deadlift. So send your hips back first and then come down. Don't just round your back to get there. Try to keep your back straight throughout this. So you should feel your glutes and your hamstrings a little bit helping pull you up from this. Keep going with that and after this we're going to do some lunges in three, two, one. You're going to have your arms out in front, lunge back, bring your arms wide. Lunge back, arms come wide. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Good. All right, and now you're going to come down into a squat hold. Doesn't matter how low you get, and you're going to twist to each side. So inhale when you come through center, exhale as you twist. And then we're going to go back to the top after this. All right, back to those X touches. I recommend inhaling as you come down, exhale as you come up. Inhale down, exhale up. All right, and lunges. Hands together, lunge back, arms wide. A few more seconds here, then we go to our squat, hold with a twist. And switch. Come down in your squat hold. Exhale to twist. And then we'll go one more time through these movements. And then we'll do two minutes of some faster pace movement to the end of our warm up. And switch back to the top. Last time through. X touches. Remember to keep your back straight throughout this. Three, two, one, switch. Lunge with arms coming wide. A few more seconds. All right, and coming into that squat, hold with a twist. After this, we're gonna come into a lunge. It's gonna be a lunge to the side with a jump, and then a lunge back and jump. It'll be lunge side, jump, lunge back, Jump, so start this with me now. You're gonna stay on one side the whole time. So one leg lunges to the side, come to the center, jump. That same leg lunges back, jump. Stick on the same side 
the whole time here. A little jump in the middle. And now we're going to switch to the other side. So now go with the other leg, lunge side, jump, lunge back, jump. Good, five more seconds, and then we're doing once more each side. All right, switch. This time, lunge forward instead of lunging back. Lunge side, jump, lunge forward, jump. Still staying on just one side. Five seconds, and switch. Lunge side, jump, lunge forward, jump. Good, 10 seconds. Rest. All right. There is our warm up. So, our first two sets today, we're going to be doing two minutes of work and then we'll have 30 seconds rest. So, we'll do four movements for 30 seconds each, then have 30 seconds rest, and we'll do that three times. So, in the first uh, round here, here are our two movements. The first one is this half kneel position. We'll do it on both sides, 30 seconds on each side. And it's a diagonal chop that you're doing coming down on the side of the knee that is down. So we'll do 30 seconds on this side and 30 seconds on the other side. What you really wanna work on here is keeping your spine really stable. So your back shouldn't be moving with this. The movement should be coming from your arms and your core is working to keep your back stable. Then we'll be doing single leg bridges. So single leg bridge, I think it helps sometimes if you bring the knee in, but some people prefer to have the other leg straight. Bridge up, come down. Squeeze your glute to lift up and come down. We'll do 30 seconds one leg and 30 seconds the other. So it's really just the two movements. So pick out the weight you want to use for that half kneeling sideways chop. Let's see. We're going to get our timer ready here. All right, we're starting in 10 seconds. Starting with this half kneel sideways chop. In three, two, one. Back is stable. I recommend exhale as you come down, inhale as you come up. Find one spot to look at with your eyes. Think about keeping your back really secure, so slow the movement down if your back is wavering with this. You'll get a better core work and arm work that way. And switch, other side. So we're going right from one movement into the other, and then we rest after the two minutes of work. I know your arms might be getting tired here. Stick with it. Or pick the tempo that's going to work for keeping your spine in one position. Five seconds. All right, come to the ground, single leg bridge. Pick one side to start. Squeeze your glute to lift, and then release to lower. 
Keep your chin tucked in towards your chest. Few more. Switch, next side. After this, we'll take a break. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Keep your same pace that you did on the other side. And rest. We've got a whole 30 seconds of rest here. And then we're coming back to the half kneeling chop. 15 seconds. 10. All right, so start to get ready here. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Go. And I think I'm going to switch the way I recommend doing your breathing here. Exhale to come up. Inhale to come down. I think I said it opposite last time. Exhale up. Inhale down. Five seconds left. And switch sides. As you switch sides, it might help to switch which hand is on top on the dumbbell. Exhale up, inhale down. Trust yourselves to stick with it. You only have 10 seconds left. All right, down to the ground, bridges. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. Work on pushing your hips up as high as you can get them. And switch sides. Keep squeezing your glute as you lift. A few more left. Rest. Okay, we've got one more time through these movements. Fifteen seconds. About five seconds to get yourself set up. Three, two, one. Go, exhale, lift, inhale, come down for the chop. Remember to push your breath out like you're expanding yourself like a can. Expanding your low belly, your low back, sides of your body. That's what keeps your spine in one place. That's what it means to have a stable core. And switch. Push all the way through this one because after this your arms get a long break. Ten seconds, that's it. How many can you do in that time? And switch, down to your bridge. Push yourself on your tempo here to go a little bit faster than you have been going. Two. 
two, one, and switch. Keep that same pace you just had. Let your breathing get faster as your tempo is faster. Two, one, and rest. All right, we are done with that set. And we're going to do one more set in the same structure, but with different movements. The movements this time will be, first one will be this hollow hold tip, where you're lifting your hands and feet up. Maybe you need to support your head, and you're tipping to the side, and to the other side. And you're really using your core to get yourself to move and come back here. That's the first one. The second one is going to be a side lunge with some light weights in your hand. Um, you're going to start with your arms out and then you're going to lunge down and bring your arms forward. Like this. So keep your weight back in your heels even though your hands are going forward, your weight is staying back. Then we'll have dead bugs, where you're keeping your low back pressed to the ground, and you want to exhale and extend opposite arm and leg. You don't need to extend them all the way to here. That doesn't make the movement better. You want to extend them as far as you can go with keeping your low back down. Then you bring them back and go the other way. And then we'll end with thrusters, which is a squat to an overhead press. Weight stay up here, squat down, press up. That will be our fourth movement. And you'll notice we're getting up and down from the ground between each one, because that is also a really good movement for our body to practice, is getting up um, and down on the ground. All right, so the first one's starting on the ground. We'll start in 10 seconds. Our hollow hold tips. In five, two, one, and go. Keep your feet off the ground and keep your shoulders off. You can support your head if you need to. Your head only needs to be a few inches off the ground. You're not all the way curled up. Hip to the side, and then the other way. And then after this, we're hopping up. In three, two, one, and hop up. Grab some light weights, or you can do this body weight. Hands out, uh, hands out to the side, lunge to the side, hands in front. So your hands come forward as you lunge down, and your weight goes back behind you and on the side that you're lunging into, like you're sitting back on a chair. Three, two, one, back down to the ground. Dead bugs. Exhale to extend, inhale to come back to center. Remember, only go as far as you need to while keeping your low back pressed down. Your chin tucked in towards your chest. And come on up, grab your weights for thrusters. Really push yourself here because after this we rest. Inhale down, exhale, press up. Push your tempo. And rest. So come to the ground. If you're gonna grab water, you can get water. Then we'll be starting on the ground for our next movement. 15 seconds. Six, 
six seconds. In three, two, one, start your tips. Tipping to one side and the other. Ten seconds. In three, two, one, come on up. Start those lunges. Arms to the side, hands come forward as you lunge. Nice job. Tall through your chest, sinking your weight back as you lunge down. Coming to the ground in three, two, one. Down on the ground for your dead bugs. And these ones you don't need to do faster. Doing them at a slower pace makes it a, a good workout. So don't worry about going fast on these. Two, one, stand on up. Now we'll push the pace for your thrusters. Exhale as you come up. Really push up with power through your heels and through your hands. Get through three more. Maybe you can get through more. Rest. All right, you got once more through that. And our, our last round will be more of an up-tempo, getting really out of breath round than, than this has been. 10 seconds, come down to your mat, get ready for the tips. In three, two, one, go. Stick with it, keep moving. And come on up for your lunge. Last time here. Lunge out, arms come forward. Only a few more seconds already. Three, two, one, down to the ground, dead bugs. Exhale to extend, inhale to come back in. Two, one, and stand on up. Grab your weights for thrusters. Push yourself to move fast here. Trust that you can keep that tempo through the whole round. Nice work, everyone. I'm seeing great pace. And rest. All right, we are done with that set. So for our last um, big round here, might have time for a, fine, a tiny finisher, but this is really the last round. We're doing two movements, and we're going to be building each time 
20, 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds with each of them. Um, in between, we'll have 10 to 15 seconds rest. So the first movement is going to be a single arm snatch. So this uses the same uh, shape of the dumbbell or the deadlift to start. So you're going to have one, a weight in one hand. When you come down, you send your hips back first, then you bend your knees. So your back is always straight. You use your knees and your hips to get down. And then you tap one head of the dumbbell down and you lift up. And when you lift up, you're still keeping your back straight. Back is staying straight. You're squeezing your glutes to rise and hinge forward. And that's how you come up and you land with soft knees. So I kind of come up on my heels and then I bring them down, land on soft knees. And you switch legs or switch hands as you come down. So you're switching sides each time. So this is the single arm snatch. The second movement will be an inchworm to a bird dog lift. So you'll be standing. You're still going to do that deadlift movement to come down. You're not just going to round down. Hips back. Come down on the flat back. Walk your hands out to a high plank. And then here, you can either lift one limb at a time, or for a challenge, lift opposite arm and leg while trying to keep your hips really stable. Then bend your knees. Walk your hands back. Come up with a flat back. So I came up with bent knees and you'll go back and forth like that. So first we'll do 20 seconds of each, then it'll build 30, 40, 50, 60. All right, so we've got about eight minutes of work here. And we're gonna start with that single arm, the dumbbell snatch, so get, get yourself ready for that. You're gonna watch your form on the first round here. The first 20 seconds of both of these is just a good time to, to get the movement down. All right, so we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Most important thing to remember is soft knees, back is flat. Good, nice, land with your knees a little bit bent. Two, one, rest. All right, then you're gonna get ready for those inchworms. In three, two, one, walk your hands out. Lift one leg, uh, an opposite arm, or one limb at a time. Good. Nice job. I see people keeping their knees bent on their way down and up. Excellent. All right, you got three, two, one, rest. Okay, next up we've got 30 seconds of both of these. And three, two, one, go. On the snatch, I recommend exhaling as you pull the weight up. Keep the weight close to your body as you pull it up. Land with your knees bent when you bring the weight overhead. Just a little bend is all you need. Two, one, and inchworms. Oh, sorry, resting first. <laughs> sorry, guys. Three, two, one. Now we'll go to the um, inchworms. Stand up quickly and then come back out. Try to keep your hips as low and stable as you can when you lift your legs and arms. See if you can get through one more. Maybe you can get further. Rest. Okay, five seconds, then we're back to exercise one for 40 seconds. Two, one, go. Nice job. Got that weight close to your body. Exhale to lift. Knees bent, flat back. Two, 
10 seconds. Move all the way through. Rest. Okay, you've got 15 seconds rest here. Five more seconds left. Two, one, start with your inchworms. Remember to keep your knees bent as you come into the forward fold and as you stand up. And rest. All right. 15 seconds. Now we're at 50 seconds of work. In five seconds. Two, one, go. Second to last time here. Good. While still keeping good form, test yourself on your tempo. You only have less than 20 seconds left. Good, bring that weight all the way overhead. Can you get through three more? Rest. Okay, just a few more minutes of work. Five seconds. Okay, two, one, go. Stick with it as you're feeling tired. Maybe your arms are shaking a little bit. Let that happen. That doesn't mean they need to stop right now. You've got a few more minutes in you. See if you can get through two or three more. Rest. All right, last time through each. One full minute. Five, two, one, go. Here you go, everybody. Great work, great work, keep it up. You're halfway there. Push yourself to go a little bit faster in the last 30 seconds. Then you're done with this movement. Stick with it, 15 more seconds. Once or twice more. Rest. All right, 10 seconds. Five, two, one, go. See how many inchworms you can get through here. Count them out for yourself.
Let yourself be shaky as you lift your limbs. That's good. You're more than halfway there already. You only have to work for 15 more seconds. You get through three more. Rest. All right, everybody. Good work. Take a little breather here. And then we've got a few minutes left for just a final two minute finisher, but we'll take 30, 40 seconds now. So grab some water if you'd like it. And what we'll be doing for our finisher is we'll go through two minutes of, it'll be 30 seconds front plank, 30 seconds side plank, 30 seconds other side plank, and 30 seconds front plank to end. So we'll start that in about 10 seconds. So you can do this either on your forearms or on your palms. And let's get ready here, starting in five, three, two, one, front plank. Shoulders are over your elbows, hips are down low. Gaze down at the ground or at your mat. Five seconds. And switch to the side. Pick a side for a side plank. Modification is to put your bottom knee down on the ground. Still works your core. Great option. Breathe through it. 10 seconds. Five. And switch to the other side. Let your breathing pick up its pace a little bit as you're getting tired. 10 seconds. Two. One, and switch back to your front plank. 30 seconds here, and then you are done. Like push your elbows into the ground or push your hands into the ground. Trust yourself to make it. You won't know if you don't try to get there. You've got less than 10 seconds. Hold it for three. Two, one, and rest. Nice job. All right, let's do some stretching. So grab water if you'd like it. And when you're ready to stretch, you're gonna cross one leg in front of your other. Doesn't matter, we're gonna do both sides. So cross one leg in front. Reach your right arm up and come on over to the side. Try to keep your back pretty straight here, so resist the urge to make this a back bend or round forward. Try to stay pretty neutral. Keep your legs where they are. Reach your left arm up and bend to the side. All right, now we're gonna switch your legs. So put the opposite leg in front, right arm comes up, side body stretch. Keep your legs where they are, 
Grab for your left arm instead. All right, and then we're gonna come down to the ground uh, with one knee down and the other foot in front, 90 degrees in both knees. And you're going to just hold here. You might come forward about an inch or two. And then while we're here, grab your right arm, bring it across your body. Oh, and our, oh, it's gonna say our stretching buddy's here, Rainbow, but she chose the, the other couch instead. All right, now we're gonna switch. So bring your other foot in front and reach your left arm across your body. All right, and then we're going to stand up, bring your legs wide, and interlace your hands behind you. Press your knuckles down to the ground, and come into a wide forward fold with your hands clasped. And if your hands don't reach each other, you can find them just behind your back like this. If you want, you can bend into one knee and the other while you're down here, or you can just hold in stillness. All right, and last stretch here, if you've got a, I think everyone's got a wall or fence or something nearby, come over to that wall, bring your hands to it at about shoulder height, and then walk your feet back until your torso is almost parallel to the ground, but maybe more of a, a little diagonal. Keep a little bend in your knees and just let your torso sink down. This is a good chest opener here. So press your hands into the wall, drop the weight of your chest, and just look down at the ground. All right, and release. We are all done. Great work, everybody.